Hi guys, this is a video about how to gain access to a Windows system without needing to know the password as long as you can boot from a USB drive. Uh, basically it automates the well-known util man hack so that you can uh, just use an XML file to boot. So you require an ETB USB drive with a Windows 10 ISO preferably and uh, this will work with UEFI or MBR. MBR. So there are the four steps. You run the XML file, boot to Windows, create, this creates a new account. So here's the first step. Plug in your USB drive, easy to boot USB drive. This should have a Windows 10 ISO on it. And you can UEFI boot or you can MBR boot. Find the Windows folder where your ISO is in the Windows 10 folder and choose the XML file, Windows 10 XML file, um, uh, uh, ISO file rather, anyone will do. And then select the boot Windows from ISO option. And here are the XML files. You may have wondered what these were. So load utilman, utilman hack Windows is the one that we want. So the ISO will load and then it should automatically run the XML file. And the XML file will um, change the uh, utilman.exe files um, so that uh, we can hack into Windows and get to the command prompt. So if you're happy to do this, just press enter and it'll change the three main files, utilman, setHC and magnify.exe. This gives us three different ways to hack into Windows and get to the command prompt. So now we reboot back into Windows. I'm doing it on a virtual machine here just so that I can uh, capture the video better for you. So here's our Windows system and it's got a user one account. So we click on the um, ease of access icon or we can type Windows, the Windows key plus U or we can press the shift key five times and it'll run the cmd.exe file which we've just renamed. So it also launches a control panel applet uh, which will allow you to reset the password if it's an offline account um, or you can add a new pass a new account using this uh, control panel pop-up. But the um, in the background it'll also create a new account for you called admin or admin 9 depending on what version of Visa to Boot you've got. The password is always admin to the new account. So now we can log in to the new local administrator account using our admin password. And you have to go through the initial setup of a new account. And then once you're in, you can now um, do anything you want to that system because you've got admin access. So you can create a new account and you can rename it, etc. Uh, for an online account, you can't reset the password because it's uh, you have to know the um, you have to know the user's email address, and you have to be able to receive emails on that email address. So now we just reboot uh, back to the uh, login menu again, and we just need to undo the changes we've made once we once we're happy, so we can get rid of the admin nine account. So we just type uh, three. So we type two before to create the admin account. Now we type three to delete the admin account. And this will automatically try to patch the uh, exe files, etc. But um, this is protected by uh, Windows uh, Defender, uh, so it won't let us do some of them. So in this case, we need to um, boot back to uh, our ISO again, our Windows ISO. So stick on our USB easy to boot drive. And uh, again, we go through the selection process. So we just boot to the uh, easy to boot. Select our ISO. Again, and this time we choose the unhack XML file once we get to the Windows 10 ISO. And there we are, unhack Windows. 
so this runs this will run winpe and it'll automatically run a command file to rename the exe files back again to their proper names and also we can delete the um, all the files from the admin account if you want to So here you can delete the old uh, the, the, the admin folder that we created uh, to hack into the uh, system. It's up to you whether you want to leave the files in there or not. If you delete it, obviously it makes the, the um, system clean so that uh, no one would know that you were there. And then just to double check that it is all patched back, you should try the Windows plus U key or pressing shift five times, shift key five times, or um, trying the magnify uh, ease of use icon. Uh, and they should all work as expected and should not run cmd.exe. Please like and subscribe.